The 10th tour of Utah started in Cedar City and worked its way north to Park City. As a major pro cycling event, the Larry H. Miller Tour of Utah brought some of the world's most prestigious teams and cyclists to Park City in three of its seven stages. To showcase the event and the tour sponsors, Main Street has been closed off to traffic. And just like the Tour de France concludes on Paris's Champs-Élysées, it was only fitting that the Park City stage began and ended on historic Main Street. Everyone, including Park City's mayor, was at the start of the race to cheer 128 athletes representing 16 professionals teams, all competing for award jerseys and more than $125,000 in prize money. The final race rolled out from Park City into rural Summit County through Wolf Creek Ranches where racers faced a punishing climb. In Wasatch County, the race continued through the towns of Heber City and Midway. Finally, it was another grueling climb up Empire Pass at Deer Valley Resort, followed by a breakneck descent down the mine road. Huge crowds on historic Main Street were anxiously waiting the racers and soon were greeting the winners. Australia's Cadell Evans with BMC Racing Team took the 78 mile stage, while America's Tom Danielson from the team Garmin Sharp won the overall event for the second time in a row. It took a few moments for the rest of the field to rejoin Main Street and conclude what had been a memorable and particularly challenging race. By the time the last competitors crossed the finish line of the final stage, they had all covered more than 750 miles, most of them at very high altitude, and had climbed over 57,000 feet. If you have missed this year's tour of Utah, make sure to include this wonderful event in your schedule for next summer.